Hi, I'm Ron of Ron's Trains and Things, and if you'd like to see more model railroad tips, tools, and techniques, then be sure and subscribe down below and click that little bell icon so you can catch future videos. For years, I have used film canisters to hold small detail parts, like rail joiners in this case, or track spikes in this one. These are great little containers that seal tight and that hold the parts in. As long as you can hold on to the container, you'll have whatever is inside. They're easy to label with tape as well, and easy to keep track of. Now, I would be willing to bet that most of you no longer use film cameras, but there is a substitute that many of you may have access to anyway. If you know someone who uses a blood sugar meter, the canisters that hold the test strips for those meters are about the same size and shape as those old film canisters. They work great for holding those small detail parts. And again, you can keep track of them. You can put a lot of these in a box. You can label them very easily. And they're a great way to keep some small ports parts organized. This micro tip has been brought to you by the Down and Dirty Weathering Contest. <laughs>The Down and Dirty Weathering Contest runs through March 10th, and I hope you'll take some time to watch all the videos that the contestants have uploaded in the contest. I'm going to post a link to a playlist with all of those videos in an end card at the end of this video. I hope you'll go check it out. If you enjoyed this micro tip, here's a link to some more tips that I think you'll enjoy as well. I hope you'll also give it a thumbs up down below and be sure and share it online wherever model railroaders hang out. Also check out that description down below this video where you'll find links to my Amazon page, my Amazon pick of the week, my Patreon page, and ways that you can connect with me on various social media. Well, join me again on Tuesday as I'll be bringing you another model railroading segment, and I look forward to seeing you then. Ten, Lizzie?